How's it going everybody? This is GAC Pokemon and welcome back to the channel. Now I could not be more excited about today's video because we are finally getting into the final set of the Sword and Shield era, Crown Zenith. In front of me I have the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB Plus for this set and I can't wait to get inside of it. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright folks, so here it is right in front of you. This is the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box Plus. You'll notice right off the bat a few different things about this box compared to the general release. For one thing, the appearance is pretty different. Uh, the front of the box looks different. It has some different accents and different text on there. And on the back, you're also going to notice that this box has a lot more stuff inside of it too. Instead of getting 10 packs of Crown Zenith inside of here, you get 12 packs instead. You also get a deck box featuring Lucario. And then all of the accessories you get in here, like the dice, the damage counters, all that good stuff, they're all going to be metal instead of the usual plastic or acrylic they use. This is also my first time opening up a Pokemon Center exclusive ETB Plus, so I am a little curious to see uh, kind of what these are like in comparison to the typical ETBs, the general releases. Uh, I did already pick up the Scarlet and Violet ETB Pluses from Pokemon Center as well, so I'm excited to see how those look. Uh, those are going to come with exclusive promos of Coridon and Maridon and all kinds of other stuff as well, so very excited to see those. Uh, right here we do get the inside of the box. It has a really nice gold finish on it, and then we also get our Crown Zenith Player's Guide right here, which is going to have all the cards that come in this set. Uh, you've probably seen most of them by now, but there is some insane stuff in here. Uh, all kinds of special arts. I am especially excited about this Suicune right here and this Entei and the Raikou up here as well. Those are kind of the three chase cards I'm really after today, but um, man, there is so little to complain about with this set. There's so many great hits and so many great arts and cards and all kinds of stuff. Um, I really just, I cannot wait to get inside. We'll go ahead and remove this lid and see what the unboxing here is like. Uh, so far it is pretty much the same as you can expect with your typical um, general release of ETB. This here looks like it might have been the coin, but uh, it's not in here. I think that might have fallen out inside, so we'll look for that here in a sec. Here is our deck box, which is a nice little addition. Like I said, you don't get this in the general release of the ETB. It looks like some nice storage there, so maybe we'll use that here in a little bit. Take our dividers out of here because this is going to hold uh, everything in place and we don't want anything in there anymore. We're getting all of it out of this box today. On the right side is the important stuff here. This is our 12 packs of Crown Zenith. The one on the front looks a little odd there. This corner is a little beat up, but uh, the cards feel fine inside, so that is lucky. I uh, don't want any of these big, big value cards to get damaged. Let's see what else is in here. Um, looks like these are the coins that fell out. These are the status markers that come in this black and gold finish here, and they are metal. Uh, so that is a nice little addition you get there. Uh, we also get our big fat stack of energies. We get the V-Star marker. We have a nice gold Lucario coin in here, and this is metal as well. So that is a nice little touch there to get. It has a nice premium feel to it. Here are some metal dice as well. And then over here we get... Oh, yes, I forgot about this. Okay, we get our Lucario V-Star promo card here. Uh, this one is a little bit off-center, but that's a really, really nice art on there. Um, I like that a lot. And hey, there's your code. Go ahead and enjoy that. Punch that in online. Let me know what you get. That's different compared to the general ETB. I'm not sure if you get everything in here or not. Uh, again, this is my first time with one of these Pokemon Center ETBs. Here are your ETB dividers right here. Again, they have this really nice gold finish on them. I don't believe the general release has this. Uh, I will be opening that up in the near future, so do stay tuned for that. Uh, nice gold finish in the back there as well. If you want to use your ETBs for storage, that is a great thing to use if you're going to do so. And then here are the sleeves. I believe these are the same as the general release. Uh, and that is going to be everything for inside of the box, which means now we're going to get into our 12 packs. All right, folks, we're going to get started with our first of our 12 Crown Zenith booster packs right here. They do all have the same uh, pack art on the front, which is interesting. That's not uh, typical for a Pokemon set. They usually uh, tend to go all out with those, and they do four or five different variations of the pack art. but. Uh, not the case here. There is your Crown Zenith code card. I believe the pack trick is the same for these guys, uh, but there could be all kinds of spots for hits in here. So we're just going to go through and find out with our first pack here. We get a Dark Energy on the front, followed by Luxio, Ultra Ball, Electric, Krikatot, Ponyard, Yanma, Emolga, Love Disc. Uh, we get a Rayhan Reverse Rare right here, and that is an autographed card. Uh, this is a new thing for this set right here. They have these autographs, trainer cards. I don't know if that'll keep up, but it is a cool little thing. It's definitely a different uh, different touch. I like that quite a bit. And then our first rare of the day on the end. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, our first pack of the day. I did not think we'd be able to pull this. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, well there you go. Uh, obviously the uh, pull rates on this set are pretty nuts. That's your first pack of the day right there. We get the secret rare Pikachu. Wow. Wow, what a pull. So that's the kind of set that this is, man. Crown Zenith just has some crazy stuff in here. Um, man, I, I was completely caught off guard by that pull. I, I didn't expect to pull that. I didn't expect to see it today. That was gonna be one that I expected to have to buy as a single if I really, really felt compelled to. So, um, man, that's insane. That's insane. Let's, let's keep it going. Let's see what our second pack is. There's your uh, code card there. Two, three, four to the front. Uh, obviously, I am very excited to open up Crown Zenith and very excited to keep opening up Crown Zenith until we get Scarlet and Violet in a few months. Uh, let's keep on going through this one here. Oh, Execute, Cherubi, Young Goose, Emolga, Scyther. We get a Pontiard here as our reverse, and on the end, our rare this time is going to be an Oranguru, and that is a non holo rare. I am still in complete shock about that Pikachu, man. I mean, that is like... Without checking, I, I know I know that's at least like 90 bucks at this point. I mean, that card is insane. That's like the it's, first of all, it's the only secret rare available in the base set. Uh, a lot of the secret rare cards, a lot of the more valuable cards, are available in that uh, trainer gallery spot, which in this set is called the Galarian Gallery. Um, there's like I don't know, like 70 or 80 cards in that portion of the set, but that Pikachu is the only secret rare from the base part of this set. So. Um, Interesting to see that so early on. That that still is just blowing my mind. Uh, we'll get into our next pack here. Uh, looks like a lot of the same stuff so far. We got Grubbin, Purloin, Salandit, Coughing. Oh, skipped a few, excuse me, Bidoof. We do have our first Galarian Gallery pull, and that is an Altaria, full hollow right there. Very, very nice pull, I like that a lot. And our rare in this pack is gonna be a Tapu Lele and that is a hollow rare. I should also mention, guys, if you want to pick up one of these Pokemon Center exclusive ETV Pluses, um, I do believe they are sold out right now at the moment, uh, but do stay tuned. Uh, for what it's worth, they are available on there, usually for $65, which uh, I think with all the extra kind of bonuses you get in here, it's not really the worst deal, considering the regular ETV of this set is 50. Uh, it is a special set, so it has had that little bit of a price hike there. Um, but overall, I think definitely worth the price of what you get in here. The bonus packs are a great touch, the gold touches, the uh, metal stuff, the deck box, it's all really great. So uh, there is Friends in Sinnoh. There is a really nice full art card of that. I'll see if I can pull one of those today. That would be really fantastic. Let's see if we can get a little bit further back into here, into our section where we're going to have our pulls. Uh, no Galarian Gallery card in this pack. We just have a Energy Search Reverse Hollow, and our rare this time is a Pangoro, and that is a non holo rare. Also, this set is just for the most part the English release of V Star Universe, which came out uh, last month in Japan. Um, I did not have the best luck, I feel like. I'm thinking back now with my V Star Universe booster box. Uh, it was solid, but it was nowhere near as good as this has already been today, so. Um, we'll see if that keeps up. We'll see if this set just has better pull rates. Uh, I'm not sure what the case will be or not, but we do have plenty of time to figure that out. Here is our next pack here. I don't even know what, what pack we're on at this point. Uh, Great Ball, Trekking Shoes, Luxio, Larvesta, Snowrunt, Switch, Pancham. Can we get a big hit from that Galarian Gallery spot? Not this time. We have Galarian Mouth as our reverse, and our rare from this pack is going to be a Zorora non hollow rare. All right, so we have slowed down a little bit, but I just counted we have seven packs to go, including this guy right here. So uh, definitely still a lot more potential for pulls here. Uh, I would really love to see, like I mentioned, that Suicune, that Raikou, that Entei, all those cards are gorgeous. Uh, would love to find one of those today, but if not, there are a lot of special arts, uh, V-Star cards and V-cards in this set I'd love to see as well. So fingers crossed we can grab one of those today. But Fighting Energy in the front this time, Pokemon Catcher, Oh man, Potion, Bidoof, Pontiard, Galarian Gallery right here. No, we just get a Reverse Metal Energy. Uh, interestingly enough, there is a you can get Reverse Energies in this set and you can also get Secret Rare Energies. Uh, the Secret Rare Energies are gonna be textured, they're gonna have a special hollow pattern on there, all kinds of good stuff. 
Uh, this is not one of those, but it is still a cool little pickup here. I like this. And our rare this time is a Scizor, and that is a non-hollow rare. Already halfway through here, but my heart is still pounding about that Pikachu. Uh, man, I cannot get over the fact that we pulled that and also that it was our first pull today. That's just insane. Um, yeah, man, I, I am just so excited about this set. Uh, there's your code card for this one. We'll do our pack trick. Flip that around. Here we go. We have a fire energy in the front of this guy. Luxio, Trekking Shoes, Shaman, Krikatot, Ponyard, Yanma, and Molga. Love Disc. Our reverse is a Love Disc, and that's just a common reverse, so no Galarian Gallery here. And our rare this time is Age of Galaxy, non hollow. Now, I know that Pikachu basically paid for this entire box, but I do, I do want to see at least one more big pull from this. Uh, that seems to be the case as well. I've been keeping up online with people's pulls and that sort of stuff, and it seems like you definitely get more pulls in one of these boxes than you generally do for a typical ETB. So, we should have some more big hits coming up in these final four packs here after this guy. In the front this time, we have a Fire Energy, Salazzle, Carnivine, Giraffe Rig. Shinx, Wooloo, Helioptile, Skrelp, Grubbin. Our reverse is a Galarian Gallery and it's Mill Tank. Uh, and this is one of the ones I pulled from V-Star Universe, but not a bad duplicate by any means. I like this artwork quite a bit. Uh, and then on the end, our rare this time is going to be a Yon Mega, and that is a non-hollow rare. Four packs to go. Let's keep it going. See if we can get lucky with one of these guys here. Oh, man. Man, that Pikachu. <laughs> I, I still cannot get over that Pikachu, man. This is just crazy. All right. Code card. Let's dial it down a little bit. Let's get back to it. Here we go. Psychic Energy in the front of this guy. Laron. Friends in Sinnoh. Gloom. Shinx. Whalmer. Galarian Meowth. Baltoy. Tangela. Our reverse here is an electric, and that is an uncommon reverse hollow, so no Galarian Gallery here. And our rare in this pack is another Scizor, and that is, again, a non-hollow rare. Final three packs, here we go. Crown Zenith. What an experience so far. Tear this guy open. Let's see here, code card. One, two, three, four, to the front. Flip it around. We have a Psychic Energy on the front, the electric. Rescue Carrier, Giraffe Rig, Grubbin, Energy Search, Salandit, Oddish, Coughing, a Reverse. This time is Electric Energy, so we get our second Reverse Hollow Energy from this uh, ETB right here. And on the end, our Rare is a Snorlax. It's a non-hollow, but I love that artwork. Very cool. Two packs left. Let's see if we can finish strong. Get some last two packs magic. How about that? See if we can change it up a little bit. Get this guy open. Code card. Here we go. All right, come on. Give me a big hit. Let's go. Metal Energy, Lunatone, Soul Rock, Rare Candy, Coughing, Bidoof, Sunkern, Galarian Mr. Mime, Chatot. We get a Galarian Gallery. <laughs> we get Miltank again. Uh, odd, but okay. It's cool, I guess. All right. Uh, and we do have a hit on the end, and this is a Rotom V. Uh, that's cool. Okay, we get double banger right there. Two hits in the same pack. I can't complain. That's pretty awesome. All right, folks, hard to believe it, but we are already on our last pack of the day. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video so far and you wouldn't mind, please leave a like down below, drop a comment, and if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to have lots more Crown Zenith to open up here in the very near future, so do stay tuned. Uh, this set is just a ton of fun, and I can't wait to open up more of it. Uh, so thank you for sticking around so far. Let's see if we can cap this off with some last pack magic and get a big hit in our final pack of this ETB+. Plus. Here we go. Water Energy on the front, Krakorok, Lunatone, Solrock, Starly, Rilu, Aeron, Krigatot, Seal. We get a Galarian Gallery and it's Mew. Oh my god, that is a nice one to get there. Wow. Okay, that's really nice. I don't know value on this one. I think it's gotta be pretty high. It's Mew, it's the Galarian Gallery. That's a great hit. Um, man, that's crazy. Okay, all right, that's a big hit. And our final card here is gonna be a Mewtwo Hollow Rare. So we get a Mew and a Mewtwo back to back in this final pack of the day. All right, folks, that'll do it for this one. Uh, so once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.